All right, so hopefully you practice your bow stance so you got a little bit familiar with it. Uh, now we're going to move on to the next part, the next most important part, and that's the movement part, uh, which is turning from the waist and shifting the weight. All right, so we're going to use our bow stance, and from there we're going to start turning the waist left and right and shifting the weight forward and backwards into the legs. Now while we go through this process, remember in the beginning video how I put your feet what I said about the knees, what I said about sitting up, suspension from above, where the weight goes in the feet, that's all got to remain. All right, make sure you don't adjust your feet. Keep them where they are. It's going to be hard to move in the beginning, but that's the thing about Taiji. You learn to move in this posture, it starts to open the body. Now, before we begin, I want to talk about a principle in Tai Chi. There's about 10 principles, 12 principles, or important points that you need to hit. I'm going to go through a couple of them through the process of making this video. For this video, waist is the commander. Your waist commands the movement. The waist moves, everything moves. The waist stops, everything stops. So there's no pushing off the ground. There's no independent, independent movement of the limbs. It all depends on the wet, what the waist is doing. If the waist is off, everything else is off in the upper body. So this is very important. Move from your waist. Now when I say waist, a lot of people think, oh, that's where my belt goes. Uh, I want you to think about it like this. Think about it as, as the waist as being the base of the spine. So you can imagine someone's got a hand at the base of your spine and they're turning you like this. This is what it means to turn from the waist, okay? Try to avoid turning from the chest or leading from the chest. The waist leads. This is very important. Every movement in Tai Chi is like this without exception, all right? This is where you get your Tai Chi very good, and if you learn to move from your waist, aka your center, it can remove clumsiness from your body and increase balance and all those kind of good things. So let's get started. Let's get into our bow stance. And if you jumped into this video and didn't see the vi first video, please go back to the bow stance because I'm not going to explain it again. We're going to step back with the right foot, keeping our feet on the lines I described in the first video. Pivot on the back foot, the heel, bend the knees, turn the waist, shift the weight forward, don't lean. Now, what we're going to be doing from here, left leg forward, and if you've got your right leg forward, uh, you're going to do the opposite. 70%, this is where we start. Always get set up nice and solidly in this stance. That's where you start from. Don't start from the center. Make sure that weight is 70% in the front foot. Remember, if you start off wrong, everything will be wrong. Tidy is very picky about these points. Now, 70% in the front foot, weight in the center of the foot. Now, we're going to bring our attention down to our waist. In Chinese, it's yi zai dan tian, or yi zai yao. All right, you bring your attention down here, not up here, because we're going to move from here. And we're simply going to turn the waist to the right. Now, as, you, as we do, looking from this angle, you notice as soon as my waist stops turning, all my weight is in my back leg. And then I'm going to turn the waist to the left. As soon as I start to move, I shift, shift forward. Now, pay attention to the starting point. You want to end up right back. As soon as your waist gets squared off with this cardinal direction, that weight is exactly arriving 70%. Very important. Turn your waist to the right. Now you're shifting back. Now you want to let that back hip fold and notice how my knee is bent. A lot of people stand up. You've got to sit down into that leg. Your height as you move forward and backwards stays the same. You're staying level. This is very hard to do because probably your waist isn't open and your legs aren't strong enough. This is how Taiji develops an open waist and strong legs. And this is basically all you want to do. You want to turn the waist to the right, shift to the right, shift back, keeping the body upright. Turn the waist to the left, coming forward. All right? A lot of movements in Taiji are based on this very this very same movement, a lot of our movements. So the brush knee and strike we'll be doing is based on this. And remember, this has to be correct before you move on to anything else. And if you manage to master this, you've come a long way in learning Tai Chi. Because you're learning how to separate your weight, you're learning how to stay relaxed, you're learning how to move from your waist. 
all right? So we'll do that a bunch of times on one side. You'll bring the foot forward. We always practice on both sides equally. We don't favor one side. Taiji evens everything out. Now let's do it on the other side. Feet parallel, shoulder width apart. And make sure your feet aren't like this. Very important to keep this front foot pointing straight ahead. Notice the lines. I didn't say that in the verse, first video, but make sure that front foot, the center of the foot is pointing directly forward. A lot of people have a tendency to put their foot out to this diagonal. That is incorrect. Now, keeping your heel on the line, step back, pivot on the back heel, knees, waist, weight, bow stance. Sit up, eyes on the horizon. Don't look down. You shouldn't be able to see your body and your peripheral vision. Now, once we've established a correct posture, the waist is everywhere, right? The waist is where it should be. The weight is in the correct position in the body. Now we're going to turn to the left. This is the right leg leading. And then we're going to sit into the back leg. Remember, sit into the leg. Don't stand on the leg. The knee is bent. The waist is folded. My spine doesn't twist. And then turning from the waist, move the weight back forward. There should be a really substantial shift in weight controlled by the waist. Now, as you start to move through this, People ha always have a tendency to look down. Keep your head up. If you're looking down, you're leaning. Your head is coming forward. Everything needs to be upright. Make sure you keep your coccyx tucked under. Head suspended from above. Breathe naturally. Relax. Go back and forth. Try to use as little muscular strength as possible. That's another principle in Taiji complete relaxation. And the reason we completely relax in Taiji is so the body can open up. It's not gripping and holding the joints too close together. This is so we have mobility at all times. You can always change. All right, and that is the basic movement in the bow stance. Now make sure you, you can always go back to the first video, make sure you've got the information in the first video down pat, you're able to do it. Then you do this video. Uh, I suggest uh, practicing a lot. And you'll, if you forget the arms later, always come back to this because this itself is a great exercise for balance and body strengthening. All right. So to reiterate, the waist is the commander. Turn from the waist, aka the center, the, excuse me, the base of the spine. Make sure your weight is shifting properly. Make sure you stay level. Make sure you stay relaxed. Make sure the weight is shifting from one center of the foot to the other center of the foot. Make sure you're not rolling into the heels. Keep the weight out of the heels, but you also need to keep the feet flat. All right? So practice that. Once you feel you have, you're somewhat confident in that, make sure you get real confident because later we're going to start adding on the hands and that can cause a lot of confusion. Your mind's going to have to take up more and more of the body and we need to have this movement and this shifting down pat so we don't have to concentrate on so much. It's ingrained into your uh, nervous system, if you will. All right, so practice that and we'll move on to the hands. See you in the next video.